Hi and welcome to our 17th video on roots, prefixes and suffixes. The theme for this video are the Latin roots lum, luc and lustre, all of which bring light to our lives and the words hanging on the tree branches can be easily memorized using this root connection. So let's begin with a word that is the easiest to memorize. Translucent. Well, luc means light and lucent means shining. When we add the prefix trans, which means through or across, the word literally means shining through. A translucent object is one which partially allows light to pass through it, though the image gets blurred. Translucent is between opaque, where we can't see anything across, and transparent, like a clear glass, where everything is clearly visible across it. For example, the frosted glass shown in this image is a translucent one, that is, it allows light to pass through it partially. Next word based on the root luke is lucid. The word originated from luke meaning light and if something is full of light or is bright, it is clearly visible to the eye. Only in this case, we are referring to the mind's eye. Lucid can be used for something like a speech which our mind has no difficulty seeing. That is, it is expressed clearly and is easy to understand. Which is the first meaning of this word. Usage example would be, For an effective communication, the message of the speaker should be very lucid so that it is easily understood and should be comprised of a handful of well-chosen words. That is, it should be terse or laconic. The lucid can also describe someone who shows the ability to think clearly and is of a sound mind, especially when we expect just the opposite, like someone who is very aged or someone who is experiencing pangs of insanity or confusion. For example, she is an octogenarian but still lucid and able to do all her household chores effectively. Next we have the word pellucid. Per prefix means through, so pellucid literally means shining through. This word is an exact synonym of both translucent and lucid. If something is translucently clear, it can be called pellucid as well. For instance, mountains reflected in pellucid waters of the lake. Similarly, if something is easily understood or is lucid, an equivalent word to describe such a thing would be pellucid. Like, she writes in a pellucid style. So pellucid is translucent slash lucid. Though this word can also be used for music or some other sound which is clear and pure in tone. And such a pellucid singing tone is obviously a treat for ears. Next we have elucidate. One of the common words in English, this word literally means clearly expressed out and hence to make clear. The actual meaning is also the same. To elucidate something means to make something clear or to explain something. Like this teacher is elucidating a graph on the whiteboard to his students. After Luke, we have the root word lum, which has the same meaning, that is light or glow. The first word that you should know, which is based on this root, is lumen. Simply put, lumen is unit of light energy, which is approximately one candle's worth. We measure the total light output or light emitted by a light source such as a bulb, an LED or a flashlight in lumens. An example sentence would be, In buying light bulbs, Rita checked not only their power as measured in watts, but their brightness as measured in lumens. And going a little off track, you would have probably heard of the Illuminati, believed to be one of the most secret organizations of the world, whose members claim to possess special enlightenment or knowledge of certain facts. The word finds mention in various novels, including Dan Brown's, and is derived from the root Lu. Next is Luminous. If something or some object is luminous, it is giving off light and is bright or shining like perhaps the luminous dial of a watch which casts a green glow in the dark. 
Though the word is also used for something that is too bright or unnaturally bright in color and sometimes distastefully so. Like luminous red hair of someone. The corresponding noun is luminosity which obviously refers to the quality of being luminous or the intrinsic brightness of a celestial object such as the sun. In fact, the solar luminosity is a unit of radiant flux conventionally used by astronomers to compare the luminosity of the sun to other stars. Next we have the word illum which means to light up and this word is in fact the shortened version of illumination which is our next word and is more commonly used as compared to illum. To illuminate either means to light up like we can say that the light from the lamp illuminated the study desk. To illuminate might also mean to light up or decorate a book or its cover. Such a decoration might use gold, silver or colored designs. For example, the manuscript cover is illuminated in colorful inks. And probably the most beautiful word based on the root lum is luminary. The word was originally used for a natural light giving body, especially the sun or moon. But that meaning is now obsolete. And yet, luminary is indeed someone who shines bright and is an inspiration for others. They are leading lights or guiding lights. In contemporary English, the word luminary is used for a person who inspires or influences others, especially one prominent in a particular sphere. For instance, the late Indian president and renowned scientist, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, was a luminary who will inspire many generations to come. Next derived word is luminescence. Made up of lumen meaning light and essence meaning beginning to be, the word literally means something that is beginning to look like light and refers to the creation of light by processes that do not involve heat. Now this is as opposed to a burning candle or a glowing bulb or even sunlight which are all generated by heat. Luminescence is thus a form of cold body radiation. Also, such a light created could be called luminescence. In real life, certain organisms such as fireflies, squids, etc. possess light organs and emit light, a phenomena known as bioluminescence. The corresponding adjective would be luminescent, which can be used to describe glowing objects, like t-shirts glowing at night could be called luminescent t-shirts. Now we will cover the third related root, luster, which stands for shine or brightness. The word luster itself means a gentle sheen or soft glow of an object, such as the luster of this rotating sphere or the luster of this ceramic jar. The related adjective is lustrous, which is used for something that has luster and is shining, like someone's lustrous eyes. An opposite word is lackluster, which obviously means something that lacks shine and is very dull and uninspiring. For example, the lackluster performance of the team disappointed the fans back home. Though the adjective is also commonly used for hair or eyes etc which look dull, an usage example would be, this conditioner claims to revitalize lackluster hair. And our next group of words is illustrate, illustrative and illustration. Well, as a word, illustrate literally means to lit up. The word is similar to illuminate and elucidate. Though more specifically, the word illustrate means to explain and describe something or to provide a book or newspaper etc. with pictures and examples. For instance, the picture below illustrates the story of Piet Piper of Hamelin. While illustrate is a verb, illustrative would be an adjective and illustration becomes a noun. For example, we are covering a detailed and illustrative example of what these words mean. Here, illustrative is adjective, which describes the example, what kind of example it is. And I believe the pictorial illustrations are very effective when it comes to learning new vocabulary words. Illustration here is a noun.
And the last word is illustrious. It is used as an adjective like someone who has had an illustrious professional career, is well known, respected and admired for his or her past achievements. Such illustrious people are outstanding in their field of expertise. They are the leading lights or luminaries. Now test your understanding of the words learnt in this lesson by filling in the blanks below. It is recommended that you pause the video when the timer starts. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos.